Hey, what's up everybody? Let's talk about some stalled projects going on, right? Hey, what's up, everybody? Paul here, Left Coast Model Car Builds. Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hopefully you're getting some good uh, bench time in, time with the family throughout the week. We're about the halfway point. So uh, let's jump into a community question. Our buddy Pat over at Card Scale Dreams tossed out a question talking about uh, breaks in the hobby, you know, time gaps, and uh, stalled projects. I've had uh, plenty of both in that category. So Gaps in the hobby. I, I jumped into this hobby, you know, back uh, as many of you did back as a kid, some snap kits, got into the glue kits with uh, my pops when I was probably about 11 or 12, you know, built, you know, it was a fun part of the hobby or, or fun hobby around baseball that I played back then and a couple other things that I did up through my teenage years and I uh, continued building as a teenager. <laughs> Uh, kind of came in spurts and then you know life hits when you become an adult right work house kids you know whatnot so I built on and off uh, but no I was probably getting maybe a build done every couple of years and I would start a number of things that would sit so I have a ton of stalled projects if you want to call them that I've got a couple here these were just some that I can kind of get get my hands on right uh, the first one I don't know that I would call it necessarily a stalled project. I'm not going to go into a ton of details on these, but, um, you know, this is one I started earlier this year. The uh, Aoshima kit. It's two-tone red and candy brandy wine. Uh, this was something I just kind of started messing with as, uh, you know, first Aoshima. And then came home one day and wanted to spray some candy paint, try some stuff out. And that's how that kind of came into fruition. You know, we have uh, 259 Impalas. I got one out. You guys have probably seen this before. This is actually Candy Pagan Gold over a Nova Orange base. All House of Colors. Uh, pearl White Interior Black Flocking. And then I've got another chassis. You know, some nice old Model House uh, Wide Whites and Chrome Wheels. This is for a Candy Violet. 59 convertible I have and I mean it's somewhere over here I, I saw it a couple weeks ago uh, so those are two I really want to get on and build those have been painted foiled and sitting probably since I'm going to say the early 2000s or when the first kit first came out possibly back in the late 90s right uh, you know we got some customs here you know chopped fleet line 51 fleet line that's been chopped uh this this goes back a number of years i mean probably before probably when i was about 15 had a friend that helped kind of show that that does uh real one-to-one -one scale custom work i have another another custom here something that was started put back in the box you can see some of the work here it's gone into this old ford make it into a kind of a custom i don't even know if you'd call it a ranchero pickup i uh, got a 56 210 uh, house of colors one of their pearl oranges and then we got a white top all foiled this one ended up with a little chip in the paint this is when uh, pops was doing so he ended up doing a whole new body and everything so i said well don't junk that i'll, I'll take and build it you know and then the 49 Fords, as you know, absolutely love my 49s. This is one that this body may get used on uh, my channel's group build. As you know, I'll be taking from one of my first glue builds that I did back in the day. Uh, this or another one will be built into a cleaner version of this semi or mild custom as we call it. Uh, this one's got the sewing thread blanket seats that I made. You can kind of see in there. 
And then another 49 Ford. This is one of Pops. So this was one our our club for an NNL West giveaway. We were doing those every year for a while. Uh, we did a 49 Ford push car, and I believe a dragster that went with it. Pops really liked the way the orange 49 was coming out. So as we were building the uh, club build, our end in it, we went ahead and did a second body, painted it all the same time, foiled it the same time, and everything you can kind of see there. So this has been sitting for, I'm going to say at least 10 years, if not longer than that. So those are just a handful of stalled projects that I've gotten. There are a lot more. So I'll, I'll throw up some videos on those periodically, and hopefully this next year you'll see some of these get completed. Probably the 59s first, the 49, and this 56 Chevy. The 51 Fleet Line I definitely want to get on. That'll be a nice custom along with that Ford you saw that's cut up. Those will be really cool builds. Just some of what we do. But yeah, so those are some of the stall projects and definitely breaks part of uh, breaks in the hobby, right? That's definitely part of why I started this channel was uh, more than anything, I enjoyed watching channels throughout the community here. And I wanted something to kind of keep me accountable, hopefully keep me building. Uh, we're just past, I think, the four month mark. Uh, the channel's done really well. I appreciate all the support. And I think through the four months, I've had about a week and a half or two weeks where everything kind of hit a halt. And I was really just adjusting the schedule. As, as I mentioned in the past, I was tr between work, the kids, shooting pool three, four nights a week. I was trying to balance that out. So I started to cut back on pool. And just when things were kind of hitting the happy medium, I uh, started hitting the gym again, try to get the health back in shape. And my son, uh, who does not build models, but he started going to the gym with me. And he absolutely loves it. He loves lifting weights. So we're going almost every day. Initially, I plan on going about three days a week. We're going almost every day, kind of teaching him proper form and stuff with lifting, which is awesome. I absolutely love that time. But it is another thing to balance out into the day, whether we're there at, you know, the I think we were there last week, one of the days at 3.45 in the morning. Then it was work, then it was pool, and I was home, I think, by midnight. So that was a long day. So it's definitely a, uh, you know, you love your hobbies. You got to get the uh, daily chores in. So it's a balance if you want to do it all. Some days are a lot longer than, the other, than others. So minus the YouTube channel, you know, that would probably be a time I'd possibly hit a break. But I'm glad... It's keeping me building. I just wrapped up that Foos truck for the cancer awareness build. I've got a few other group builds I'm doing. They'll be due up by the end of the year. A couple along with my channel's group build. They'll be due first part of next year. That's just fun. Love the hobby. Um, one other thing, you know, I was watching videos this morning and someone mentioned that part of what they really enjoy isn't just creating content for their own channel but is continuing to watch other channels and I do my best to watch all your guys's channels to watch see your content see what you guys are putting out because that's part of the experience for me it's it's not about just creating videos getting likes getting subs and not partaking in the rest of the community uh, sometimes you know, I'll, I'll see a video and think, shoot, I haven't seen that guy's channel in a week. Uh, but I do every day. I'm at least jumping on for, for a good 30 minutes and just going through seeing what, what everybody's doing. Uh, so if, if I don't comment or see something, it, it, I'll get around. Believe me. Um, I love seeing what you guys are doing, what you guys are putting out. And just like myself as a longtime builder, the more, I get into it and stick with it. You know, you kind of see that rust fall off, the progression come back. So it's cool, you know, hearing and seeing some of you guys do the same. Uh, myself, I will probably this next year start focusing on a few more detailed builds. A lot of my builds have been, uh, I call them NNL style, where they look good sitting there on the table, interior, body, maybe an engine, you know, if you lift the hood, 
but uh, Bell and I may go hit hit some actual contests this next year. So I'd like to have some uh, fresh builds and some detailed builds to go. I'm not a huge uh, competitor in it. That For me, that's what pool's for. Uh, but I do like to show up with something that can at least, you know, stand its ground on the table, right? So I am looking forward to that. Hopefully I have a good time. Told my buddy Chris, maybe, you know, hit the Desert Scale Classic. Bell and I go hang out with Chris for a few days out there in Arizona. Uh, possibly some shows in Southern California. So we'll see how it all goes. Also, uh, we've been working on an online model car club, which is kind of at the early stages, but that's been fun as well. Just threw up a Instagram page for it. We have a Facebook page going for it. Uh, so developing all that, I mean, it, it's fun. It takes time, but I enjoy it. So that's kind of the in and outs of my breaks in the hobby, what I'm kind of doing to keep me tied into it. You know, I, obviously the hobbies, I mean, we can't put the full amount of time we would love to into them, all right? We got work daily chores, everything else, right? But doing my best to keep with it. So that's that's kind of my answer to uh, Pat's question. So I'd love to see some of you guys jump in there and uh, throw an answer up, tag Pat in it. And I look forward to hearing what, what you guys have to say and seeing some of your stalled projects. So happy Wednesday, and we will catch you guys later.